Hello guys, my name is Evans and uh, welcome once again to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm continuing to look at the um, October-November 2017 IGCSE ICT Paper 2. In the last video, we looked at um, data manipulation and in this video, we wind up with document production section. Okay, so import the extract you saved in step number 24 into your document as a table after the paragraph which ends details are as follows okay so the extract we saved is in access and um, um let's just check uh, that so this is the extract so i'm just going to copy it okay so right click um select the entire table and um where where is the copy <laughs> copy it um and we need to pick um, um we need to paste it at a place that starts um, oh, after the paragraph which ends details are as follows. So let's find that paragraph. So open the document which we're working on uh, and it's called um, Cruise News and um, find and search details uh, as follows. Okay, somewhere here. So put your cursor at the end, hit enter key once on your keyboard and paste your table. So there you go, that's your table. Make sure that the table fits within the column width, and that's fine. Extract the, the data, uh, the extract data, or rather the extract does not contain a title. So re let's remove the title. So just um, um, select it like that. And delete the row. The next, all required fields and their labels are fully visible. So just, um, yeah, this is fi perfectly fine. You simply select the entire table and double click on borders and it adjusts. Then, um, all right. Um, right, so <clears throat> we continue with um, the paper. Sorry, I had to attend to one or two things. Um, so we did... Um, extract the um, make sure that the extract does not contain the title um, from here and um, the next thing that we're supposed to do is to make sure that um, all required fields and their labels they are fully visible so you do that by selecting the entire table and double clicking on borders uh, for the table and it will adjust make sure that all the fields are visible okay so the next one is that no text wrap or rather not text is wrapped within the extract um that is that is done as well there's no text wrapping that you should apply the tc table style um to the extract okay so let's go ahead and apply the tc table style so select the table and apply tc table okay next you need to um that there is a 12 uh, point space after the table so that that's easy so you just need to make sure you put your case up here Put the paragraph in and it will tell you that there's a 12 space point after um, the table. So that should be fine. Um, the next thing that you're supposed to do is um, spell check and proofread the document. You make sure that the tables are not split over two columns or pages and that there are no widows or orphans. And um, So let's first of all check through the table to make sure that they are not split between um, um, pages. Okay. So go through this table, go through this other table and make sure that everything is there. There are no widows or offers, which means um, there are no sentences or um, headings that are hanging on their own. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this looks good. You can spell check uh, the document um, if you want. Um, so F7 in your keyboard. Um, all grammar must be left okay so don't adjust anything to do with grammar so leave it uh, you only change something to do with spelling but again you need to make sure that um it is um so spe spelling for tawara okay so we ignore all because it's a noun um then ignore grammar and um you don't even need to do what i'm doing for grammar because even when you print it won't um Make a difference okay so for the spelling uh ignore all vessel name ignore cell date ignore state standing down that's um ignore all ignore and ignore 
so that completes the document. The next thing that you're supposed to do is make sure that there are no blank pages. Uh, we've done that. The house specification has been followed and correct styles applied as instructed. I assume I've done just that. And there's no spacing, or rather the spacing between all items, uh, rather the spacing between items is consistent, okay? So save the document using the file name, or the same file name as the format used in step 18, and print the document. Okay, so there you go. You can go ahead and print, um, and print this um, this document okay it's it's a complete document for now so you can go ahead and print it that looks very neat okay step 29 Tawara cruises now want to distribute the newsletter and plan to send a print copy of this uh, by post okay. so evaluating your own ways this method of distributing the information okay and you got your format so which means you need to state at least four valid points um, for you to get full marks on this question. So what we're going to do is to go to our evidence document and we're going to type under step 29. Our evaluation why uh, using the post may be better compared to uh, maybe sending um, um, the documents using email. Okay. So the newsletter will be sent using post. So there are a number, <coughs> there are a number of benefits for sending documents using uh, the post. Um, of course, um, among some of the benefits um, that you can you, you can have is that um, when you send by post, um, you make sure it, it kind of ensures that um, every person has actually been um, accommodated. Okay, so you write the address, you can be ticked, um, sent to this person, I'm sent to this person. You can also talk about um, um, that um, by post, um, um, you you can you can send your information to specific people. Okay, who live probably in places where there's no internet um, uh, or access to um, internet is limited, so to say, and they'll be able to receive um, the documents very well. Okay, um, also you don't need to have you don't need to have um, you don't need to have a uh, a computer for you to be able to read your post mail. Okay, you just need to make sure that um, there is um, um, I mean post um, actually reaches where you are okay um also you when you talk about evaluation you also need to look at the downside okay so for example um the cost of printing uh, these letters now suppose you send it to thousands and thousands of people you find that it will be kind of expensive to start printing each and every person every now and then um also um you need to post or you need to um, to have some money for you to send your mail. Um, sometimes it can be um, it can be irritating, especially if somebody tell you gives you a call. Say, Did you get my mail? And then you say no, and um, you find that um, at the end of it, oh, um, it takes maybe one month, two months for somebody to receive the mail. And if it was something that was urgent, um, then it becomes um, becomes difficult. Okay, so. Um, the other thing that I um, I would say about um, uh, that I would say about um, um, post is the disadvantage would be that um, I mean you cannot include any mouth media in 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 post uh, such as um, videos or audio file files and stuff like that um, that becomes a challenge okay so no animation nothing at all and um, it's difficult once you type your content. And then you realize uh, you've printed it, then you just need to change um, before you send, um, then you have to make amendments, okay? So the advantages or the benefits, okay? Let's say the benefits of using post is that it can be sent to people with um, limited um, internet or access computers okay so we can do that um also posts can ensure that um targeted targeted people in specific locations um receive the newsletter okay. to receive the newsletter and then um, um, 
can talk about the downside maybe um, that there will be extra costs such as postage um, you can talk about uh, printing so maybe this one you can reduce it maybe to cost for ink or toner okay and then also um excuse me guys okay um so there's printing cost for ink or toner um also you can talk about um uh, sometimes the mail take long to be delivered okay so sometimes the mail take long to be delivered um and um once the mail is printed it is difficult to edit the content okay. i think this should be enough well, it's supposed to be at least 50 words um so i don't know if this is um how many words uh, this is i can't um, um tell exactly okay that's 65 words now uh, that is more than what is required but for you, you need just make sure you give four points okay all right so that should end the task for um the second part of document production and uh, thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next video when we start to look at mail match and um, don't forget to subscribe to like to share to comment um, on my um, videos and i'll see you shortly